brother, Mr. DK. For yourselves, give it up for yourselves, give it up for yourselves. Yes, yes. Oh, man, that's a weak ass give it up for yourselves. God damn it. I drove two days to get to this motherfucker. Give it up for yourselves, man. Shit. It took me two days to find this place. And then when I got here, it took me another eight hours to find this spot. I had to make like two phone calls, like, hey man, where are we at? So we over there in Bangkok. <laughs> it's right by the Bangkok on the right side. I pulled up, I see Bangkok, I still don't see shit. So I had to come inside and then, you know, I'm African, so I had to, we gotta, uh, we gotta see everything. <laughs> and sometimes the accent, you know, you know, they don't understand, you know? Cause I'm new to America, everything is different. Americans, you guys used to make slangs and it throws me off as an African. You know, like Africans, we just go straight to their point. You know, if you ask an African, hey, give me $10,000, an African will go, no. <laughs> That's it. But when I came to America, too many slimes, right? I asked my American friend, I said, hey, Jamal, could you please give me a ride downtown? Jamal looked at me and said, she. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what she. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting on my ride, you know, 30 minutes go by. I said, hey, Jamal, you gonna give me the ride or what? That's when he turned around, looked me in the face and said, shh. <laughs> and then he walked up. I said, okay, that's how they say no in America. I get it, they say shh. When they wanna say no in America, I get it. So one day I was driving, I was driving, I was going 60 miles on the 40, right? Police officer pulled me over. He said, man, you crazy. Get out the car, man. You know what you're doing? I got out the car, looked at him and said, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Americans used to make slangs and he throws me off as an African. Like when it's cold, they say, man, it is colder than a motherfucker. <laughs> when it's hot, they say, man, it is hotter than a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm broke like a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I'm tired of the motherfucker. Man, I got right there bigger than the motherfucker. Man, she finer than the motherfucker. I came to America, I said, man, who is this motherfucker? I used to look for motherfucker, man. I said, who is this motherfucker? So I went to church one time, right? So I asked my pastor, I said, pastor, I've been looking for this guy. His name is motherfucker. That's the last day, Pastor. Keep me at the church. I said, God damn. It was one time I thought motherfucker was a guy that played on the basketball team, right? You know, because I was having a conversation with this guy. He asked me how tall I was. I told him I'm 6'4. He said, Man, you are taller than a motherfucker. I said, Man, who is this motherfucker? So we kept talking about basketball. You know, the guy told me how he plays basketball. He said, man, should I play basketball as well? He said, matter of fact, I was out there yesterday, man, playing basketball game with them boys, and I was dunking on them like a motherfucker. <laughs> so when he said he was dunking on them like a motherfucker, so I figured, okay, if motherfucker is tall, <laughs> and the motherfucker is dunking the ball, I figured the motherfucker had to be a basketball player. <laughs> So I went to a school basketball game one day, right? Oh, Everybody on the team was about five eight and five nine. Oh, you know, it was the only one guy, he was the only six four guy on the team. So I figured that had to be motherfucker right there. <laughs> so I was sitting silent like the whole time he was in the game. I was yelling, hey motherfucker, pass the ball. And then he looked at me. I said, yeah, you motherfucker, shoot that shit. <laughs> I'm getting that shit the whole game, right? <laughs> So after the game, I walked up to him. I said, hey man, oh, nice to finally meet you, motherfucker. <laughs> I said, man, by the way, you had a good game, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy looked at me for about 10 seconds, and he stared at me, he said, man, you are crazier than a motherfucker, and then he walked up. I said, damn, I thought you was a motherfucker. Everything is different in America. It throws me off as an African. Like in Africa, we don't have too many roads like you guys do. You know, we just have one road, right? If you go in this way, 
You come in this way, we in the same lane, right? And that's an express road, you hear me? But when I came to America, too many roads. But you guys got 45 and 59, 610 North, East, West, and that's too much for Africa. So I got my first car for the first time. Got on 288 freeway. I don't know, you guys know 288? Yeah. Yeah. I got on 288 freeway. I was going 125 miles per hour, right? Yeah, because I thought 288 was a speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that shit was a speed limit. And I'm wondering, why is everybody going so, so slow on 288? And I was just cruising, going. So police officer right there, he pulled me over. He was mad. He said, man, you crazy? I mean, you're going 125 miles on a 60. I said, no, officer. He says, 288, I'm just managing at 125. <laughs> so officer asked me where I came from. I told him I just came from Nigeria. He leaned over and said, hey man, uh, you 